Okay. Okay. Okay, how are you doing? I'm with uh, Dave Hickey from Eagle Air here. Hi. Um, Dave is um, installing some of our fresh air UV kits um, into um, a ducted uh, unit, um, obviously to filtration the air, um, and obviously this is a consequence of the latest uh, situation with COVID. Um, so Dave, thanks very much for coming on yeah, the vlog no today. No um, we've a lot of interest in obviously UV at the moment, yeah. and we obviously supply it in, in all sorts of formats. As you probably know, so we have our standalone. Um, you can have a fan coil unit. You can have the old pure look, which you're not even using the, the coil. Um, so it's basically your filter, your yeah. your lamp, your fan, your louver. Um, but this is probably the rawest form in, insofar as you have the the kit. Kit. Um, so you have your ballast, which is your power supply. You yeah. have your um, UV lamp, lamp. Um, and this can come with or without the bracket. Um, you obviously had a very tight space. Yeah. Um, to fit this into. So um, for your particular choice, the decision was to get this uh, lamp that was going to fit in. Yes. And I think you made up. Uh, yeah. Well, the, set yourself, yeah the lamp is almost the exact width of the fan coil unit. So what we done oh, yeah. um, is we cut a slot in the bottom of the duct um, because it's as obviously going to act as um, an access hatch as well. Okay. So we made up a plate and then we fitted the, the lamp brackets to that plate. So that plate will slot up in there okay. and then we just fix it to the um, to the bottom of the duct. Perfect. And on the side of it, we have drilled the side of the duct. Um, where the, the hole there, yeah, yeah. Where the flex could come out on a um, gland. Perfect. And there's also a hole for an inspection um, sight glass that goes in as well. Yep. Sorry. And this, and yeah, this, is the sight, this is the sight glass, so you can right. see if the lamp is operating. So that goes into the side. And then there's a dry, the, the control unit is up here mounted on the ceiling. The power supply there, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, just up on the ceiling. Yeah. And just a spore beside it. Perfect. So, so you have this connected back to a uh, power supply on yeah, uh, on the on the board. A yeah, on, on a timer. So at least the, the lamps will only be running when the fan coil is running. So it's timed the same time as the AC. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Because there is a lifespan on the lamps, um, um, so after a period of time, the intensity yes. does weaken. So obviously, we need to be conscious that after so many, depending upon the number of hours per day that's been used. Yeah. Uh, at some stage they do have to be replaced. Um, the other thing, obviously UV, um, UVC on yeah. the spectrum of light, I think it's 254 nano uh, meters or whatever right. you call it. Okay. <laughs> um, not I'll it. <laughs> um, it can be dangerous to the eyes right, yeah, uh, and even to the skin. Yeah. So um, you have a sticker to put over the Yeah, place, a sticker actually comes with them. Um, there you are. Um, that's the sticker that comes it's just a you know a, a warning sticker exactly that we will just place um beside the unit where the the access hatch is so that anybody getting up to it is warned of it and obviously will isolate the uh, lamp before Perfect. opening up so, yeah, yeah. So which so is really really important, important. absolutely you want yeah, to make sure it's no risks yeah. or dangerous yeah. excellent um okay so um dave you're you're one of the first in recent times there's such I like a long <laughs> <laughs> so uh it's it's great um to be here no we, we have a huge amount of interest in this um i know there there's one particular cons consultant actually wants to come out and see it so this video will definitely help him yeah um and obviously we can, we can send it out uh, publicly so other people can see what we're doing here as well but um the lead time you had to wait a while yeah it is it was longer than i thought but yeah um, yeah it probably was about 14 to 16 weeks or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so there's a the thing about it, obviously, look well ahead. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the point I'm making here. Yeah. There, there's a massive worldwide demand for yeah. UVC at the moment, yeah. and consequently, the lead times are so long. Yeah. So, uh, exactly as you said, if anyone's thinking about it, the sooner the better you get onto it. Um, and uh, there we go. Yeah. So, uh, I presume your client is going to be very happy. Um, Hopefully, yeah. It might get all these people back in the office now. They all know but that's, that's the point, that's isn't it? Idea, you know, yeah. there's, there's nervousness of, of people yeah. sticking staff back into buildings and and as I said to you earlier on, I think it's the, like the employers themselves are want to be able to say to their employees, listen, this is what we're doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're trying to make the place as um, safe as we can as regards COVID. And uh, obviously any other viruses or anything that's in the air, you know, it's, it's yeah. not just for COVID. Exactly, so yeah. It does make the whole environment. Yeah, we, we were talking to one of our local schools and we were making the point, even the, 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 the flu season that yeah. happens every year with or without COVID. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's inevitable it's every year. Um, it kills viruses, it kills yeah. bacteria. Yeah. Kills smokes really uh, helps um, clean the environment. Yeah. And um, I, I mentioned to you a few minutes ago there, we, we did, I, I, I drafted an article there at the weekend, I threw it up on LinkedIn, um, about HEPA filters versus UVC. Yeah, yeah, because um, 
HEPA filters, of course, are, are great for cleaning the air, but they block up yeah. the efficiency of the fans can be reduced, uh, yeah, obviously yeah. reduced because uh, obviously it's the it's more filter, yeah and have to be replaced. Whereas this will last. Yeah. You know, um it, it's actually cleaning the air. And if it's beside the coil, actually are you you're right beside the coil on this Yeah, it's you? right in it's just after the coil, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the the other uh, benefit of the UVC is they, they actually kill bugs and you know the way you can get slime oh, yeah, 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 very good. That'll yeah. keep that clean. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so because it is an issue as regards, yeah, yeah, because over a long period of time slime and I, I yeah, it's, it's a cold, damp environment yeah, sometimes course, if, yeah. if it's on cooling mode. Yeah, yeah. So um consequently um that'll keep it clean, that's gonna improve the efficiency of your projection system as well. Right. So yeah. there we go. So all the benefits. Um okay, thanks very much, Dave. No problem, really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, any questions, um uh, my number is 018255155 or email uh, chillers at eicl.e or uv at eicl.e is the specialist uh, email for uv inquiries. Thank you.